Go Jackers. I know what you're thinking, and uh, no, it's not clickbait. It's not exactly what you think, but it's not clickbait. And shout out to Tobias for tipping me off of this. We talked about Jeff Sims a little bit uh, on the live show and just how it didn't work out at Nebraska. And in hindsight, probably the decision for him to go to Nebraska was ill-advised. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about Jeff Sims. Jeff Sims is back at Georgia Tech. That is a fact. Um, Tobias sent me his uh, his LinkedIn, and I'm just going to read the about. Most recently, I graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with my bachelor's degree in human development. I finished with a cumulative GPA of 3.6. As of right now, I am currently re-enrolled at Georgia Tech, finishing my business administration degree, <clears throat> yada, yada, yada. So, he's back at Georgia Tech, I guess has no plans of playing football, finishing his business administration degree. I was talking with Sea Dog through text about this, and I was just like, man. And I don't mean this to dog on Jeff Sims. That's not what this is about. Really what this is about is the grass is not always greener on the other side. And this, to me, is really a cautionary tale. Because Jeff Sims played his best football of his life after the stench of that other Jeff left. Once Collins was gone from Georgia Tech and we brought the hazmat team out to scrape everything that he had ever touched, um, and we threw away all the cardboard cutouts and pool noodles, Jeff Sims played as well as we'd ever seen him play. I know he beat Florida State, uh, what, his freshman year, but Florida State was a way different team, and he didn't play well in that game. I think he threw two picks. He might have thrown for like 180 yards. He played well against Pitt, Duke, and that's because Winky and staff were able to get the most out of them and and tailor play calls and offense toward what he did best, which was roll them out, run uh, if the pass isn't there. He goes to Nebraska. Well, I think his first game there throws three picks. It just it didn't work out. Seems like it would have been much smarter in hindsight for him to stay at Tech. Um, I think we can objectively say that now. It's an interesting thought experiment. We probably don't get Haynes King if that happens. Um, Zach Pyron would probably end up beating him out anyways, especially after injury. And we even talked about on the live show, like, did he refuse to play even though he was okay to play? Uh, you know, who knows? But if there are any players that listen to this show, I think this is the takeaway. You need to be real careful about leaving the portal, especially in a situation like Sims was. Now, in defense of Sims, like his head coach that had recruited him had just been fired, which means you're probably going to have a total staff wipe. He had no idea or he had no way of knowing Key was going to end up being the head coach. But he goes to Nebraska, it doesn't work out. And I want to say this too for every everyone – you know, academics don't matter, academics, who cares about academics? He majored in human development. Now, he was only there for a year, right? So, first of all, I don't know what human development is as a degree. That sounds like underwater basket weaving, general studies, or hotel management. I mean, imagine going to a job interview, like, hey, tell me about your degree, human development. Well, isn't every degree human development? Isn't that a part of in, of life in general uh, that we all just kind of learn on the streets? Um, yeah, so I'm not saying, look, most kids are not going to go to the NFL, all right? And so you're probably... Uh, would would do well to pick a degree. I'm not saying pick the hardest degree, but pick something that you're going to be able to have, you know, some semblance of, of a career in. If football doesn't work out, 
like it doesn't for 99% of college athletes. It also tells me that human development is an absolute garbage degree or he wouldn't be coming back to tech to finish his business administration degree. Now, again, I don't know how you finish a degree that's worlds apart from what most of your coursework are in. It, I mean, it tells me, look, we know most of these schools, they're just rubber stamping grades for kids, most likely. Um, but yeah, it and he's listed um, January 2020 to May of 2024 at Tech. So what I think is happening, I don't necessarily think he's done with football. I do think he certainly burned that bridge with Georgia Tech. I think there's a 0% chance that Key would ever let him come play football here. There's not a spot for him. He, he's not going to play quarterback at Georgia Tech. Could he play tight end? Could he play wide receiver? Well, we're deep at wide receiver. Uh, the, the places we have holes at are on defense. Could he go play defense? You know, I, I don't think that Tex – he'd have to walk on and he'd really have to – I don't know beg for forgiveness from key. I, I think key, I mean, if you, if you think back to like after Virginia, the Virginia game, he was like, uh, he just said, yeah, he's medically cleared to play. And that's all I would say. I, I think, I don't think key's a fan of the guy. Jeff Collins certainly is. Um, and Jeff Collins didn't do him any favors. Um, I do think Jeff Sims is a talented quarterback. He's certainly an athlete. And with the way he was coached, I mean, I think he had Pat Node, he had Chris Long, and he had um, uh, Jeff Collins to deal with. They didn't do him any kind of favor. So <clears throat> what I think he's doing, he's going to come back, get his degree, something that he can do something with after football. Looks like he probably graduates next month. Um, he must have just had a few classes. I don't know how long he's been at Tech. Um, and then I think he's probably going to step down. Does he go to like somewhere like UMass? That's the trek that a lot of people that transfer to tech take. They go from Clemson to tech. And then when that doesn't work out, they go to UMass like Pumachon. Uh, and then ET, Edinoza Rubin, I think did that too. So I don't think he, I don't know how much eligibility he has left. Uh, it's like impossible to tell in today's college football. By the way, I was right. Uh, the SEC, if you watched the live show last night, um, they were trying to tell me I was wrong. They were trying to say that Papa Rec Talk was wrong. You cannot transfer within the SEC. So if you're at Georgia, you can't go to Florida, vice versa. Hey, but ETN did that. I know it's a new thing. There's, I guess they've all colluded together to say you cannot transfer to another SEC school from an SEC school. So rules for thee, not for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about Jeff Sims. I just think that's bizarre um, that he came back to finish his degree. Like, I think it's smart. I absolutely think it's smart. But um, what a fall. What a fall. I mean, he was the guy at Tech, and he was improving. Looked like he was, you know, on the, on the fringe of really starting to do something at Tech. Transfers out, and now... Um, He's finishing his degree at Tech, not, not playing football. So, again, let me know what you guys think. I think, uh, wow, just kind of shocked. What a, what a story. Again, thanks to Tobias. Let me know in the comments. You guys have a good one.